And new at 10, 7 News asking tough questions after this crash. A semi driver killed after going off Highway 285. Several drivers contacting 7 News saying the stretch of road near Schaefer's Crossing is dangerous. One woman saying she narrowly avoided a head on crash. 7 News always investigating, and reporter Marshall Zellinger asking what's being done to make it safer. It's a double yellow line. No matter where you're going, you should be on the right-hand side of the double yellow line. This stretch of Highway 285 at Schaefer's Crossing near Bailey. A concern for drivers who live in the area. This blog, 40 pages long, complaining and warning about the risk for head-on collisions. And I look up and there's a man in my lane coming right at me. Tracy was driving northbound toward Denver last month when another driver came from this single lane heading southbound and right into Tracy's path. I think he swerved about the same time I swerved. She provided us these photos of her SUV. Wiped out my mirror. Side swipe by a man traveling from Arizona. What did this driver tell you? Uh, he said he wasn't paying attention. There's just been way too many close calls and it's been very lucky that nobody's been hurt or killed. Marsha Allen barely avoided a head-on crash in the same area in late May. She sent a complaint to CDOT about her nearly serious head-on collision. White van crossed over right in front of me and was coming straight at me. I ended up in the median um, and I sat there for about five minutes just in shock that I was alive. And maybe they need to put concrete barriers there. We've got a lot of different options on the table, whether it be flashing arrows, whether it be looking at jersey barriers, and those are things that our engineers look at as well. CDOT spokeswoman Amy Ford tells 7 News there are new improvements in the area. This divided highway electronic sign, rumble strips in the center line to rattle a driver's tires, and these green plastic reflectors. So while we have taken some steps, we will be continuing to look at whether there are additional steps. It is very scary. It's going to kill somebody. Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. And a 7 News viewer first tipped us off to this story. If you have a news tip, tap Tell 7 News on our mobile app. And from there, you can send us your video, photo, an email, or call our newsroom directly.